Well, just 10 years ago yesterday, an explosion ripped through the 200 block of downtown Bozeman. The blast caused by a leaking natural gas line killed one woman, injured a man and destroyed eight businesses. MTN's John Shear spoke with a few of those eyewitnesses who still remember it vividly. Here in this alley, one survivor of the blast, the Legion Hall manager, actually tried to sound a warning. He drive his vehicle and back through the alleyway. That's when manager Tom Jones smelled the odor of gas. So went downstairs and dialed 91, and as soon as he was ready to hit one again, kaboom. We were about to order food with, with a friend of mine, and all of a sudden it just exploded, and it shook for two seconds, and the lights went out. It's just, oh my God, what happened? I don't think any of us comprehended the level of destruction. Initially, they didn't know the location. That was because people all over town called to say it had happened in their neighborhood. Literally, you could feel it under your feet. When people started to see the destruction, it was overwhelming. And I remember when we turned left on the main street, I remember like it was yesterday. Really um, surreal. Bizarre. It was like apocalyptic. And it was surreal, to be honest with you. Debris was in the air and was falling down. The, the blast wave bounced down the street and blew out the windows on opposite sides of the streets as it bounced. Glass was all over in the, in the roadway. There was something that looked like a, uh, the world's largest acetylene torch just blowing blue flame out of this big pipe. Back in the Legion Hall, Tom Jones just wanted to escape. Crawled up the stairs, got outside, and a fireman was running down the street towards him still putting his jacket on and he said, are you all right? He said, yeah. He said, get over to the fire station. There were other close calls. The owner of Carter's had just gone inside after shoveling snow. The Rocky Nars bookkeeper went to the owner's other business that morning. Everyone was kind of dazed because nobody really knew what was going on. It was definitely frightening, especially when you don't know what's caused it quite yet. Hawthorne Elementary was evacuated. Children and staff were taken to the public library. I, I think the first thought was to make sure everybody was okay. We didn't know how many were injured, what was going on. We were so worried how many people we couldn't get in touch with. It was the time of day when there's a lot of deliveries going on in the alleys. I was thinking that we were going to have multiple injuries, multiple fatalities. But the cold, snowy morning became a lifesaver. I talked to numerous people that were like, yeah, I was 15 minutes late, I was 30 minutes late. Timing was everything. It would have been another 15 minutes. It could have been very, uh, very different situation. It could have occurred at noon. It could have occurred at 5 o'clock in the evening. Uh, it could have been much, much worse. Initially, about 15 people were missing after the blast. All were found safe, except one, Tara Bowman. She was killed by the explosion. In Bozeman, I'm John Shearer for MTN News.